They say love and marriage goes together like a horse and carriage. Well, some of these I just had to divorce and some of these I just had to make love to. Hi, I'm Gabby and welcome back while I straighten myself up while I look in the camera here to another edition of The Fragrantition. Yes, you've clicked on to it. Yes, click away, click away. There's always innuendo there somewhere, isn't there? Anyway, today we're talking about a tag. We're talking about five fragrances that I love, five fragrances that I hate. Hate is a strong word. Dislike, passionately, do everything with passion. So let's get into it. Before I say anything else, welcome if you are here on this channel. I'm Gabby. I am the mad woman of Fragcom, the queen of innuendo. And some people have dubbed me as the queen of vintage. Now that's a sweeping statement. Come on, settle down, Claude. You're going to settle down, boy. My co host here. It's on my lap here. He always keeps me company. As soon as I start a video, he comes pattering in and has to get on my lap because that's the kind of cat he is. Let's just get into it. Margie, Margie. Now, Margie, Margie, Margie. She did a video, which I will link her channel down below, about five fragrances that she loves and five fragrances that she hates. And her and I have fairly similar tastes. Um, not very, well, yeah, we do. We have fairly similar tastes. Um, oh, I'm just smelling one that's drying on my hand here that I love. Oh, yeah, so let's talk about it. So this perfume video, I don't know who it was started by. I do apologise. I only saw her video. I've jumped on the bandwagon, so I'm doing it. I'm still getting so hot. I might have to see the doctor about this. Since they've changed my blooming hormones, I'm just here, there and everywhere. So the first fragrance, <laughs> the tail, the first perfume that I'm going to talk about, we're going to talk about hate or a strong dislike. <coughs> oh, See, that's how I have to cough because I dislike it so much. It is Baccarat Rouge 540 from... Maison Francis Kirkjohn. Yes, the house, the guy himself that made this perfume, which I absolutely dislike. These five perfumes that I dislike, I don't have. Why would I, I have perfumes in my collection that I dislike? Behind me, what you're see, seeing is perfumes that I love in my collection, that I use in my collection. And when I've decluttered any perfumes. You know me, I don't do a declutter video. You'll never see a declutter video. I did it once a long time ago. We'll never do it again. When I declutter things, I do it without having to do a video. So perfumes that I love that you see here are ones that I either like, I love, or they're a huge love. And this first one isn't a huge love. Baccarat Rouge, it is everything that Fragcom either loves or everything that either Fragcom despises. <clears throat> I am in that <coughs> category that despises it immensely. That said, I do love, well, not I don't love, I do like a lot the X-ray version. Yes. But the original, oh, I'm just getting wafts of one that I'm going to talk about. But the original one, no, I don't like this. It's got jasmine in. It's got saffron, it's got, I don't know, it on paper, I would, you'd think I'd love it, but it is a cacophony of madness. It is a cacophony of um, a mesh that I just absolutely despise. So let's get that first one out of the way. That's an honorary mention. The next one is going to be a love. It's easy. It is a recent find of mine, and that is Prada La Femme Absolue. I saw... Oh God, this this is this makes my eyes roll back when I smell this. 
I saw a long time ago, Veronica, our, you know, the, the girl, the woman that we all want to be, the woman that just, we just aspire to be like Veronica, don't we? I'll put her channel down below. She is, she spoke about this a long time ago and this was on my wish list for a long time. And I thought this was a blind buy and it was a successful blind buy. Nine times out of 10, they're successful with me. The notes, frangipani, absolute, tuberose, jasmine, vanilla, vanilla, a bit of vetiver as it dries down as well. A little, a bit, a little bit powdery with a little bit of iris in there. It is a, a ylang ylang. And do you know what I love about this perfume? The ylang ylang and the frangipani. Let's just reacquaint it. Let's just reacquaint myself with this love. It sings like a choir of angels. This could easily be a signature scent and I love it. And I'll do a review on it. If, I mean, I love the color alone, the burgundy. Oh, who doesn't love a burgundy color? This is only the 35 ml. I'm going to get a bigger one. They do an original one and they also do an absolute version. But this is the intense. Is it intense? Well, it lasts about five to six hours on my skin. That's pretty good. And it does project. It's strong. It does project pretty well. Prada La Femme, absolute, all year round favourite, which I'm glad I absolutely love. Go, go on to another hate. Let's really reel them in. Let's really, let's really spill the tea on them. Kayali Deja Vu. Yeah. Rubbish, hate it, crap, absolutely think it is. Um, I'm not holding back. Um, I really tried and I tried and I tried to love it. Absolutely don't like it at all. Who was I kidding? White floral, I thought I was going to love it. But it's this just this sweet mess of a fragrance yet again. Don't get me wrong. Brilliant marketing. But in my opinion just lip service yes i said it lip service i don't care if i get hate it's I, my channel. i just don't like it sorry i'm sorry to offend anybody actually no i'm not sorry if i'm offending anybody by saying i don't like it i mean if you don't like prada la femme absolute that's absolutely fine you're not going to offend me so why should i justify my opinion of saying i'm sorry to somebody i don't even know on the camera no it's fine. It's okay to disagree. Just don't like it. I think it's crap. I think it really is. And the reason why I say that is because it had long, it had bad longevity. The performance was poor. And also not just because based on performance, the actual fragrance itself. See, I'm so passionate about it. The actual fragrance itself is just absolutely horrible because it, it just isn't what a floral should be. It's too sweet, in my opinion. It's just everything that I just don't like about a floral. You know, stop giving us this generic scent. So, Kayali, déjà vu, white flower. No. This is how white florals and actually animalic florals should be done, in my opinion. Just listen to this. As it pops... My by Beauguay, masterpiece in my opinion, will not appeal to the masses, will not be loved by everybody, but it's loved by me. I'm actually going to, this has given me an idea to do in a future video, watch this space when I'm in London. I've just sprayed a tiny bit on my hand. <laughs> this is just, I mean, Claude didn't like it. He jumped down. If you like Tuberes Criminal by Serge Coutons, you will love this. Otherwise, steer clear of it. It is just white florals. It's animalics. It's leather. It's old school. It's vintage. It's me.
to my by Bogue. This is just when I first smelt this, it was a unicorn scent for me. It just an eye roll moment. And it sent me into a tailspin. It really did. I sampled it first, had to get the full bottle after that. Um, it's just a floral. It is a floral scent, but it's a different floral perfume. It's, yeah, it's pissy, it's floral, it's animalic, it's leather. It's, it's if you like, The Lover's Tale by Francesca Bianchi. If you love any of Francesca Bianchi fragrances, you may well like this. Um, it's not by no way means the same, but it's in that veil of complete and utter, to some despair, to some a lustfulness, a beautiful take on a floral with an animalic and leather. And it evolves and takes you on a journey. And if that's the word, and it just makes you feel just, it's, it's sexual. It makes my tongue salivate. It, it does all of that and more for a dark, deep, fragrance my by bogue strong dislike for me the next one well it has to be halfetti from penhaligans i'm so so sorry to those that that do love it um it isn't a, a hate really it's just something that i just didn't like it wasn't for me it wasn't something i was ex i was expecting something different I was expecting actually something like Lair du Désert Marocain by Andy Tower and it, it's nothing like that. It's not a spice bazaar as I thought it would be. It's more like it falls flat. It just does not have the zing and the quality. And Halfetti's a brand, I think, they just, oh, some people are not going to be like me on this because this is an unpopular opinion. To me, I just feel Halfet, I feel Penhaligans as a brand. It doesn't have a proper identity. They have different collections to something and different collections to something else. And there's no real hidden, there's no real structure. There's no real core. There's no real DNA like you get with certain brands and houses. Um, and I just wanted it to be more of something. And I had high expectations and it wasn't. So Penhaligi, Penhaligi, Penhaligans held Fetty a big no. However, a big love is Portrait of a Lady by Dominique Roupion Frédéric Mal. This is an original version I have here. It is strong. It's a, it's a, it's, I want to say original, it's first formula. It's patchouli and rose and raspberry and incense. And it is a crumbling Gothic cathedral, as other fragrance community sayers have said on this community. And I completely agree with that. It's brooding and dark and deep and mysterious. It's what, you know, that lady, the Scottish widows would wear in the old advert of the 1980s. I imagine her spritzing this. Good old Amanda Lamb, whoever remembers Amanda Lamb in that video. But yes, this is, who went on to do like discovering properties abroad or something. And she comes from Portsmouth. She came from Lee Park in Portsmouth. You know, council, born and bred she was. Um, I've gone on a different tangent there. But yes, I imagine, I imagine Mrs. Havisham wearing this. I imagine just somebody who is looking at you and just thinking, I'm going to get you. You think you're going to, you think you're going to win? No, I'm going to win. 
I'm going to win this competition. And not only am I going to win this competition, I'm going to beat you to a pulp. The things that go through my mind. Not that I condone violence in any way, I don't. But in my mind, it's so lovely to have those thoughts and feelings. But yes, going back to the perfume, this... This is a... A little bit of sweetness, but there's not much sweetness in it, and that's why I like it. The, the raspberry in this has a tartness. It has a... As the juice is flowing... Yeah, as the juice is flowing, you just... And the roses and the, the thorns, and I'm just thinking of imagery that comes into my mind. You know, I'm just thinking of the Sleeping Beauty castle and the roses and the thorns and the fruit that's growing all around the castle. This is what this conjures up to me. Portrait of a Lady by Frédéric Mal. In my opinion, a masterpiece of a fragrance that I love. This one I dislike a lot. I don't hate it. I dislike a lot. And again, I thought it was going to be something different. To what it smelled like, and that is Serge Luton's Un Bois Vanille. Yes, Un Bois Vanille. I thought it was going to be slightly woody with a beautiful vanilla scent, but it fell flat. It was sharp, it was strong on first application, and then it just fell flat and it didn't live up to expectations. Like a lot of our exes, they just don't live up to expectations, do they? Um, and that's why they're an ex. Um, so yes, I, oh, let me just adjust myself there. I'll just, I'll just speak in my microphone like this, shall I? So Un Bravani is a, it just fell flat. It wasn't a perfume that I really then fell in love with. Um, it had this sort of licorice scent in it as well, which I thought I was going to like. But I thought I wanted it to be sweeter, believe it or not. And it wasn't sweet. So in Bovani by Serge Lutons. Oh, I love him so much. Just wasn't a like for me. <laughs> are you are you trying to get com are you trying to get comfortable, Claude? Yeah. Let's just pop it there, shall we? Yes, in Bovani by Serge Lutons. The next one that I do love, though, is Banana Republic by, but by, Tobacco and Tonka Bean by Banana Republic. This one to me, I sampled, and after I sampled it, I thought, I'm not going to really like this, before I smelt it. In my head, I thought, no, I'm not going to really like this. And I actually, I had cherry and amber, I think, and I smelt that, which was lovely. But this became a huge hit. I love the, the, the bottle itself. Um, the longevity in the performance isn't out of this world, but it's a cosy, comforting, sweet tobacco. Um, and, the, and combined with that tonka bean, which gives it a lot of almost vanillic sweetness. I absolutely love it. Um, it's one I reserve. I have worn it this year, but it's one I'm going to reserve a lot more for autumn and winter. You know, it's really one of those that you curl up in front of the TV with your beloved and just spray a bit on and feel so comforted by it. And it's just one of those scents that I adore. So Banana Republic, Tobacco and Tonka Bean. And you can still get it. It's still fairly inexpensive here in the UK. If you look on the grey market on different websites, just Google it. And um, yeah, well worth it. Stunning. One which I really, really do not like. I'm just going to put that one there. Is Chanel number no. five. I've never liked it. It's it's the aldehydes in it are just not, it just doesn't gel with me. 
It really doesn't. So let's not really talk about that one, which I don't like. I want to talk about the ones that I do love, which brings me on to the final one. If you're looking for an alternative, in my opinion, Yves Saint Laurent Rive Gauche is the alternative to it. It is a chipre, a rose chipre, slightly metallic, you know, Joanna Lumley signature, you know, Joanna Lumley, NBE, CBE, whatever it is, I don't know. She's Joanna Lumley to my eyes. Um, this is a, I mean, the packaging is so kitsch. It's not the best. It's, you know, I find the smell kind of slightly represents the kind of like the metallicness of it. Strong. Get the reformulated one. It works just as well. Don't bother with the original formula. This is, and it's an expensive. It is traditional. It's a chipre. It's a rose chipre with purple and white florals and everything that you could imagine with oak moss and you know it's just it's it's just stunning it's a stunner of a fragrance and i think this will always be in my repertoire of those old school traditional chipre non-conformist fragrances to my loves and hates i'm going to tag a few people i'm going to tag a newbie who i discovered here on youtube and that is jack's beautiful you yes if you haven't checked her out check her out i mean she, i mean she's so different to me she's so professional actually all of these are professional the other one i'm going to tag is veronica our veronica who who we aspire to be and another person who i aspire to be is marcy mellow our marcy our a trauma i think she's a trauma nurse um i mean the job that she does i could not do and who else am i going to tag who else shall i tag i'm going to tag yulia as well i'm going to tag um yulia in canada as well because she's zany and crazy and just doesn't care like i do so those are the strong human beings i'm going to tag although anybody can do it so until next time you've been watching another edition of the fragrantition as i say Everything I've said is with a pinch of salt. Um, I just, you know, I can't. There are some some we love and there are some we don't. And we all have our reasons. And, you know, still be respectful. But just, yeah. Oh, God, I'm just talking. Oh, I'm just rambling on now. I'm just, yeah, just. If you love the ones that I've spoken about. That's absolutely okay. I'm going to disagree with you. And you can disagree with me on these ones as well. I'm not going to take offence to it. Remember, your opinion is valid, but so is somebody else's. So until next time, you've been watching another edition of The Fragrantition. I'll see you all in the next video. And remember, spray with gay abandon and live life to the max. Bye. Mm -hmm.